Good morning, guys. What's going on? Josh, Blue Collar Biceps. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, um, a night, whenever you're viewing this video. I'm filming it on a Friday, so happy Friday. Weekend coming up, but today I'm just doing a quick day in the life. So, um, yeah, tune in, watch along, and I'm gonna show you what a day in the life is like, not only for a HVAC plumbing guy um, in New Hampshire, the Northeast, but also how I balance out with my fitness fitness life. So stay tuned guys, I'll catch you in the next clip. Basic
guys so just finished up the cleaning on that system 2000 but when i walked in it was flashing in and out of a 100 code on the system 2000 board so what that means is it's usually a return sensor or it could be circulator issues but um, the pump's circulating fine so what it is if you saw when i filmed um you move that the sensor wire just a little bit and it kicks it like in and out of the 100 code so I'm gonna run, grab that sensor, come back, put it in, should take care of things. But other than that, it's running 87% on efficiency. Everything looks great. Um, I didn't film every little thing cause I work for a company, I gotta respect their time. Um, but so the oil filter, I didn't, I kind of skipped to the nozzle and the vacuuming is what I filmed up to the efficiency. And yeah, I'm gonna go grab that sensor, put it in and get this thing back up and running properly. Okay guys, so real quick, I'll take you through System 2000's tech manual. Um, it's labeled out pretty well, so if I go to Digital Manager Section E, you can see there, they're all tabbed. Um, but like I said, Digital Manager is Section E. They have a Classic Manager too, but I'm not dealing with one of those. So we're gonna look at the digital, is what we're worried about. And right here is the diagnostic page, I believe. So let me look here. Oh, no, here we are. All right, so digital manager section, if you look, you're gonna see, there's a couple different codes these managers will throw. The 140 code is one of them, but we're dealing with the 100 code on this side. 100 flashing, monitor alarm light on, digital uh, temperature sensor wiring is loose or broken or sensor is not working. Check connection. Um, anyways, I'm going to go with that it's not working. As you saw there, it's jumping in and out of the 100 code. Um, check sensor wiring, check lead for damage. Um, it's functioning. So right now it is functioning in service board mode. Um, I could get into all that, but basically a mode where it, it runs on high limit aquastat. So it's running, bouncing off high limit is what it's doing. That's why when I arrived to this call, it was up to about 220 degrees because um, it's been dealing with this issue. Um, like it says here, if the manager's left in this mode, temporar temporarily reset limit um, Aquastat to 165, 180, all heat and hot water needs will be met. I'm gonna run, try to grab this sensor, replace it, and uh, solve these issues. All right guys, so I'm headed to grab that sensor now. Uh, that's a perfect example of showing up just to do a cleaning uh, annual maintenance and also why annual maintenance is important because there's issues sometimes the customer would have no idea are going on, um, but they're actually using more fuel and more energy than required because that, that boiler has been running in service board mode. So like I said, they're bouncing off high limit and just not functioning properly, but something, you know, unless it starts clanging and banging the pipes due to the temperature, uh, a lot of times they won't even notice. So uh, that's why it's important that people get their systems checked out because we're gonna take care of this issue today and clear things up for them. All right guys, so I just picked up the sensor that is required for this job. Um, this is what it looks like here. Copper end to go in the well. And you have your red, black, and bare wires. Those are your sensing wires that are gonna hook up into the manager. I'm gonna go put this in now. So I did say I think that the 100 code can also be a circulator failure. That was incorrect. I just wanna make it clear that the 140 code is where you're gonna be looking at circulator failure and that kind of thing. So 100 is specifically the sensor. Just a quick uh, little correction right there.
at that last call, as you can see, I replaced the sensor, and as soon as I did, no more 100 flashing code. Uh, it went away immediately. Hot water tank was calling for hot water. It ran for a little while, satisfied. Everything settled down and uh, just sat there dormant, you know? So no more codes, no more issues. They'll save a little fuel and I don't have to run it in service board mode or do any of that stuff. So uh, yeah, so they just uh, texted me another call. So now I have a no hot water call we're headed to. So let's get to it. All right, so all I did find here was this delay valve was actually loose. So if I come over to the Honeywell, go through the air history. Flame proven during on delay. So that being loose could probably cause that. Air two is no ignition, I believe. But as you saw, that igniter is very strong. So I'm gonna chalk it up as just a loose oil delay valve. Okay, so this is what it looks like before I mixed it. We got ground beef, pasta, sauce. I'm gonna heat this up. And that's gonna be meal number one. Okay, we don't want 20 minutes. Uh, top with Parmesan. I love Parmesan cheese. So as you can see guys, I am very active during the day. I can get away with eating stuff like the cheese, the pasta, you know, I don't make, I don't eat pasta every day. I do rice, but I do whole foods. That's my big thing when I'm trying to cut weight. Normally we have a ton of veggies, frozen veggies that I'll cook up with this. Um, and have that, which we're out of. We need to go grocery shopping bad. But if I don't have that, what I do have is something like this. Um, I'm not brand specific to a green supplement, but what this is gonna do is kind of fill the gaps. I am enjoying this one though. 
This is by Amazing, Gra Amazing Grass. But uh, you mix this up, drink it, at least you're still getting in your, um, you know, like it's a green supplement. So you get all that different stuff in there. What do you have here? If you guys wanna pause it, you can look at the ingredient profile there. Okay, so all mixed up here. It's kind of like a chop suey pasta, I guess, kind of similar. All it really is is ground beef and pasta though, with a little sauce. As you can see guys, nothing too complicated here. I'm not at the point where I'm measuring all my food and doing that whole thing because I'm fasting and I can get a really good read on my body. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna eat this meal and I'm gonna head off to my next call and I'll show you guys what that is. So my next call there was a gas check for a cook stove, uh, unlock the tank, and a leak test. So basically a new tenant at a house just trying to get their stove up and running. I uh, did the leak test and I ended up finding that the either the regulator or the stove is leaking. So I soaked all my fittings and uh, didn't find any leaks in the system. I'm just heading to grab a twin stage regulator. I'm gonna change out the regulator and hopefully that solves the issue so I can get them some cooking for the weekend. Uh, if not, I'm gonna to have to lock the tank back out and they're just gonna to need to get a new cook stove, which I guess that's worst case scenario, but hopefully the regulator takes care of it. I had a leaking twin stage, same scenario the other day and uh, ended up being a pretty bad leak. You can't always see the leaks with the regulators. So sometimes it's internal and you just have to change it out and see if it does anything. But. I'll show you guys the change out. Brody on the line, I'm tapping in. Got out here pulling the strings for me. A girl on the line, she, she feeling me. Preoccupied by the motivation. Put in the time, pay the entry fee. Bro on the rise, yeah, he kinda nice. Inside of my mind, no one's real as me. Lately, life has been gorgeous. Wake up the clear, my eyes have recorded. Praise up to God, I ain't chasing no bitch. Swinging the mist, got me hitting these licks. I get the orders, don't get it distorted. Disconnected, I've been cordless, I've been cordial, I've been exploring. I got a whole lot, but somehow I want more of it. I want to tour and put on for the soil Hey, bruh, remember they used to ignore us? Now they drop me the pin with the cord And they catch me running through the ordinance Remember we couldn't afford the whip Pushing the scraper, that shit was so ageous We blowing on grapes for the flavors All of a sudden we made Alright guys, so unfortunately There was a leak in the cook stove Replaced the regulator uh, Did another leak test Still dropping off within like a minute It would drop like a pound So, had to red tag the stove There's probably a leak in the gas valve or something uh, but yeah, soaked all my flare fittings, no bubbles, nothing. Uh, that's going to conclude my work week, guys. I hope you enjoyed following along today on some service calls, some troubleshooting, uh, kind of an all over the place day, little oil, little gas. But let me know what kind of content you guys want to see in the future. Uh, that'll let me know what direction to take the channel. This is the blue collar side of it, plumbing, HVAC, AC, all that stuff that I do on the day to day. Um, going to include a lot of that. That's what this channel is about but also gonna keep, keep it uh, aimed also towards the fitness stuff. So right now my work week is over. Um, going down to mass with my fiance later, we're gonna be um, hanging out with her family. But right now it's time to hit the gym. Uh, we're doing chest day today. So probably some heavy dumbbell work and also gonna mix in some hypertrophy on top of it. So the bodybuilding style stuff and show you guys my pre-workout routine and just get in there and crush some weights. All right, guys, let's do it. All right, quick little pre-workout snack. We got one of these one bars, blueberry cobbler flavor. These are really good. I'd go with the blueberry cobbler or the maple donut, but this is gonna give me some carbs, a little bit of protein right before my workout. Okay, so we just got to the gym. Uh, I took for pre-workout today. I have this man sports 
uh, pump powder. So I do stim free for the most part. So later in the day, I can still get a good night's sleep if I'm working out later in the day. Uh, it's still got a lot of those pump ingredients that are gonna give you a good pump and still get blood flow to your muscles. So uh, agmatine sulfate, this one has the main one, citrulline malate for me. If I get about 6,000 or 6,000 milligrams, six grams of citrulline malate, I always get a good pump. Creatine, got the Gatsport micronized creatine, five grams a day, always take that with plenty of water, of course. But let's go kill this chest day, guys. I'm in it for keepsake, in a field with the cleat lace, beat fruit with the bare face and a slick tie, that's what she say. She look good, she a big tease when she bite lip with the wink face. Hella bad when she throwing it back, she bring out my way for the team play. For Pete's sake, I'm above average, I'm padding my stack, I gotta matter what he say. I'm the 2010, young LeBron James off the back for it, type of bad boy. Hold it down for the task force, if I run his fade, then you ask for it. Niggas cross, need to laugh more, I keep it 100 on dashboard. The live show, need a passport, cause the beat bounce to the cap torn. Feel like I live it, it fast forward, but I ask for it. Misfit, got a quick lit on a crash course from the tattered garment to the tabloid. Spoke how I live it into existence. I be ahead of myself, but the bank account did jump up a couple figures. Feel like nobody could fuck with us, I'm a flight risk. I play among the stars in the Hollywood Hill, the space that you couldn't even get in touch with me. Praise faith that I stuck with it. Wave. No, I really can't complain. Everything is straight. I've been on a wave. Well, everything I say turn into the real thing. I tell her I am. Fight for my life with the brass hands And I still ball with a bad hand Got an aerial point of view But they'll never see the big picture Through zoom lens From the quicksand Make it push start Type of bands cool But the tent plan I'm back on my bender rolls For the kicks They quit to give them two cents Put my circle tight Like we glued hands Like I don't believe in new friends Tread light I know the ice thin I drop the song Get a few wins I crave the comfort in my own skin Really I just wanna feel the world spin Off a check Watch me double that I get it lit I watch it bubble up Remember opening for shows Know a show But I pull it through I muscle up Not a label one Fuck with us I spin the paper Let them know what's up I think it out We really on something cause the jealous niggas give a subtle love crazy they hella shaky on that really but that's fake shit see through the shade shit they so unstable done waiting i'ma wind the lust i'm really going all the way to places never thought i'd take it all off the phrase but i can't get no sleep landing in the weeks life is bittersweet i can't really explain it but it's everything i need at least for now i think that everything All right, guys, quick post-workout physique update. Right around 210, six feet, natural.
trying to lean out to like 195. Hey guys, this is gonna conclude today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it from the, uh, the work side of things all the way through to the fitness side of things on my uh, natural lifting journey. You gotta see a chest work out there today. Uh, I also did a little bit of tricep work. I also did a little, what else? Yeah, that's, that's about it. Oh yeah, a little forearm work too. You saw the reverse curls there. That was a little bit of forearm uh, involvement on that. So I could, I really like to focus on the muscle groups I find in bodybuilding, especially natural bodybuilding, that are gonna make your physique pop are gonna be the ones that nobody else trains. So the forearms, the traps, uh, I have a lot of work to do on my traps. Um, your calves, you know, all these in your rear delts, the back of your shoulder. Uh, a lot of people neglect all these muscle groups and they focus on all the basics, but those are what bring a lot of detail in and uh, kind of make you look well-rounded in my opinion. Chest is great, back's great. I mean, shoulders are another big one that they're kind of gonna make or break you. So I work a lot on shoulders. Um, as a natural, I try to train things about two to three times a week, depending on my what my weaknesses are. Uh, calves, chest, and I'd say those are probably my always my biggest weaknesses on my physique. So I'm always hammering those. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching Blue Collar Biceps. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, I'm going to show you my last. I'm going down to Massachusetts. Uh, for the weekend with my fiance and her family can have an awesome weekend uh, Probably hanging out by the pool and stuff and just enjoying uh, Some time with her family But right now post or I almost said post what well, is post workout? I guess um, I have my nitro way by gas sport. I'm not sponsored But This is what it looks like this is vanilla ice cream flavored It's good stuff um, I also have a Levels brand protein I use a lot of, but right now this is a smaller tub so I can bring it with me this weekend. I have a scoop and a half of that and I'm having some Planters uh, nut mix. So not much carbs. You can see I had that carb heavy meal earlier after the fast and um, now my carbs are kind of starting to taper off. So now I'm kind of focusing more, uh, more on the fats. So fats and protein and I try to keep it that way. I just keep the carbs lighter for the rest of the day, but I always hit my protein goal of about 200 grams and uh, get it done. So, hey, say hi. Say hi. Say hi to the camera, Louie. He's a good boy. Uh, I got this new like storage box back there, so it's kind of awkward for him. It's the first time we tried it with it. Normally he's got a big flat space back there, but it's kind of, I might remove it just so he's more comfortable. He hasn't even laid down yet. And we've already been going for like 20 minutes now, but we have I think an hour and a half drive. But anyways, guys, I'm kind of rambling. But anyway, guys, happy weekend. Uh, enjoy yourself, friends and family, whatever you're doing. I hope you have a good time, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And until next time, like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys like about my videos, what you don't like, uh, what I could improve on, and what you want to see more of in the future. And uh, yeah, help share share the videos if you like them and you, you know some friends that might like them as well uh, to kind of see the inside of what I do for work or my lifting stuff or maybe you're interested in both. So anyway guys, I'm out. Have a good one. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Life is what you make it. Life should been amazing. I can't see a way out. I've been stacking face down off canvases. I paint it. I just spent the rain day on shit I can't afford, but that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places. I've been.